Hey guys, how are you? So, Oracle just announced the release of a new version of Java. I believe it's Java 15. Let me check. Yeah, Java 15. And the title, it's uh, an article off ZDNet. I'll give you my opinion as we go along. Oracle's Java 15 new features aim to keep millions away from languages like Rust and Kotlin. So let's, uh, let's just jump into it. If you don't know this guy here, this is the Java logo. His name is Duke, the old classic Java logo. So let's jump into the article. Uh, Oracle's Java new features to keep millions away from languages like Rust and Kotlin. So Java 15 was released. So I'm going to give you the summary off the top of my head because uh, I know what's going on here. So essentially, in about 2018, uh, Oracle, who owns Java, they bought Java off of Sun Microsystems, which is the original, uh, which is the company that developed Java. And a guy named James Goslin created Java about 25 years ago. So, um, anyhow, so in 2018, Oracle decided that they were going to have to start updating Java much more quickly. In the old days, they used to update it once every two, three years, something like that. Now they're doing six months. Every six months, they're doing incremental updates to keep the language up to date, which makes sense, which makes sense. So um, if you guys don't know, in the 90s, I really cut my teeth on Java when it comes to programming, really. I've written more lines of Java than any other programming language. Uh, partly because when you write any Java code, you got to write a lot of lines. Anyhow, that being said, let's jump into the article. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oracle released Java, uh, released version 15 of Java, the language created 25 years ago by James Gosling, a fellow Canadian uh, at Sun Microsystems. Oracle bought up Sun Microsystems in 2009. Uh, for seven billion bucks to gain what it said was the most important software Oracle ever acquired. Java is still today a super important programming language, although it's fallen a little bit in terms of its popularity. Anyway, Java 15 or Oracle Java Development Kit uh, JDK 1.5 uh, brings the Edwards Curve Digital Signature Algorithm Hidden Classes and former preview features that have been finalized, including text blocks and Z garbage collector. While the sealed classes feature arrives in pattern matching and record merging, and records emerge as a second preview. Anyway, a bunch of features of Java is releasing. Again, I guess uh, what they want to do is want to bring capabilities to Java that you see in other languages like. Uh, Kotlin, etc. Uh, recently, Java has been overtaken by Python in terms of popularity, according to developer analyst Redmonk, Red Monk, which rates Java, lang which rates languages based on GitHub projects and chatter among Stack Flow, Stack Overflow users. Mm. In July, Java fell out of Redmark's Red Monk's two top two positions for the first time since 2012 now resides behind JavaScript and Python in terms of popularity. So I guess they could have said it much easy, more easily. They could have said it much more easily and said Java now is the third most popular language according to their rankings. But when you're looking at any rankings, you got to take it, everything with a grain of salt because depending on where you go, you're going to get different rankings, different criteria. So, you know, let's, uh, let's read on. Um, the Tyobi index, which is another uh, ranking, in September ranked Java in the second position as opposed to the third, behind C and ahead of Python. While interest in the 35-year-old C++ is growing faster than any other language, there you go, C++, 35-year-old language, is growing faster than any other language. Keep that in mind when people are telling you, oh, you got to learn this new thing. Oh, my God. Uh, if you don't learn the newest, you're in trouble. That, uh, you know, young nerdlings will say things like that, but it's, it's not true. 
And there's an example of that. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Taobi CEO Paul Jensen said, uh, said Java is in real trouble because it saw a 3.81% 3.81 percentage point decline compared to ratings a year ago. But Java is still hugely popular and widely used in the enterprise. According to Oracle, which notes that it is used by over 69% of full-time developers worldwide. Um, let me just point out, uh, Java is not going anywhere. So if you're a Java coder, you're thinking about learning Java, and Java is not going anywhere. Not for at least another 40 years. So I wouldn't be too concerned. Um, this is just one measurement at one time. At the end of the day, this is my assessment, and I've been developing for 200 years. At the end of the day, the reason Python has really skyrocketed is not because it's eating Java's lunch. It's not. It's not infringing on Java in terms of the work it does. Python is really big because of AI, machine learning, uh, those areas where you don't see Java in too much anyway. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Mm, according uh, to Oracle, there are, there are still 51 billion active Java virtual machines deployed globally. With Java being used for services like services like analytics, data management, big data, DevOps, mobile, continuous de development tools, and chatbots, so it's a different um, it's a different use case than Python. To you know, although there's overlap, of course, but nonetheless, you know, this is where um, this is where uh, what you call it. Uh, Java shines. You know, it's basically enterprise stuff. As, vers as versatile as the language is, unlike Python, it's not the go-to language for data scientists and programmers building machine learning applications. Uh, yeah, as I pointed out earlier, right? Uh, let's continue here. Uh, okay, Oracle JDK 15 will receive at least two quarterly critical patches, security patch updates before JDK 1.6, which arrives in March 2021. Sharat Shandir, director of Java, that's uh, Java, Java SE Standard Edition Management at Oracle, argues that the six-month release cycle is giving customers better innovation, stability, and bug fixes. Yes, I agree. Uh, instead of making tens of thousands of fixes around 100 JD, JDK enhancement proposals available in a large major release every few years. Enhancements are delivered in smaller feature releases on a more manageable and pre predictable six month schedule, explains Shandir. Of the 2,136 JIRA issues marked as fixed in Java 15, 1,700 were completed by people working for Oracle, while 434 were contributed by individual developers, developers and developers working for other organizations. It counts ARM, Amazon, IBM, Intel, Red Hat, SAP, and Tencent amongst its list of notable contributors. Oracle also gave special mention to Microsoft and cloud system monitoring services, services like Datadog for fixes. Um, when you see very large organizations like that contributing man hours to Java, that tells you how important Java still is. Don't underestimate the coffee language, that's for sure. That's Java. Um, Java turned 25 May 23rd this year. That's sad for me. Well, I don't know if it's sad, but you know, I was coding before Java was out there, so yeah. Gosling and his colleagues, tells me how long I've been coding, wow. Gosling and his colleagues created the language in the 1990s with the intention of helping developers write code once and run it anywhere, allowing the language and developers to adapt new technologies as they arose using the Java virtual machine. So uh, just in case you don't know, the Java virtual machine is it basically it's an application. And when you write Java code, it compiles down to a language that the Java 
virtual machine understands. And that virtual machine, that application, Java, the JVM as we call it, then executes those commands. Remember, when you're writing code at the end of the day, you're just telling computers what to do. You're giving a series of commands. So the, ver the JVM sits on top of the operating system and it issues command to commands that you've written out in Java and it sends out those commands uh, to the underlying operating system to do whatever it is that you want it to do. Order a pizza, validate this email, connect to the database, etc., etc., etc. The innovation of the JVM is that you have a lot of power there that's safe. Uh, it's like a giant framework, I suppose. It just allows you to get stuff done much more quickly relative to previous solutions, you know. That was the whole point. And then the, the idea behind it was then once you wrote your app in Java, whether it be on Windows or Mac OS or Linux, it would just run. And it works pretty good. Mm. Anyhow, let's go on. Uh, in, who's OMD? Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, as part of Java's 25th anniversary, Oracle commissioned analyst firm um, Omdia, Omdia, I guess, to assess its six-month release strategy for Java and whether it would be enough to keep millions of Java developers away from memory-safe alternatives such as Kotlin, the languages Google has endorsed for Android development, and Rust, a system programming language that was created at Mozilla. In Omdia's opinion, of course, you know, they were hired by Oracle, so take it with a grain of salt, I suppose. The work Oracle began a few years ago in moving to a six-month update cycle and introducing new levels of modularity put the vendor in a good stead with its constituency of approximately 12 million developers. So I guess there are about 12 million Java developers. However, Oracle and the Java programming language need an ongoing series of innovative, must-have, and delightful features that make the language even more user-friendly and cloud-capable. These will keep existing Java developers happy while steering potential Java developers away from newer languages like Rust or Kotlin. All right, that's interesting. So yeah, um, I have a lot of affection for Java, if you will, because like I said, I cut my teeth, really. I became a serious developer in Java in the 90s. Hmm. That said, it's a very verbose language, and it takes a lot of code to get anything done with Java. It's a steeper learning curve, I suppose, just because the infrastructure is very complex. With that power comes complexity. So, uh, yeah, they got some work to do there. i rather use a nimbler language to um, get things up and running that is new. But at the same time, uh, there's a huge amount of work and a huge amount of demand in Java because so many companies around the world have so much invested in Java. As I said, if you're learning Java, there's literally no risk to you in that regard. The language is not going away anytime soon. Um, I was just checking to see if I was still recording. Um, beyond that, you know, as I tell people about programming in general, if you learn Java and you find one day that uh, you want to move to another language, you want to move to Python or C Sharp or whatever, you name it, JavaScript, it will be trivial for you. It will be really easy for you because the principles in Java, you know, objects and functions and what they call methods in Java and arrays and data types and MVC and all these type of things that we do in Java, they're 100% applicable in so many other languages, so the knowledge is transferable. When I hear uh, developers who are concerned that this language might go away or that language might go away, first of all, C++ shows us that when you got really established languages like C++ and C and Java and C Sharp and JavaScript and Python and PHP, SQL, these are not necessarily programming like SQL is, is a uh, database language. Anyway, the point is, when you have really established computer languages, we use that term, 
the chances of them going away entirely is very, 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 very minute. So especially now that we've seen a lot of progress in maturity in the technology field, uh, the this, this, this slope of change, the steepness of the change has really flattened out, meaning we're not seeing nearly as much change as we did 15 years ago. It's not even close, or 20 years ago especially. It's really, we've hit plateau, and you see that in many respects. We see that in many industries. Um, if you look, go back to the 19, you know, 1850s, 1900s, when you had all these car manufacturers, and you had all these crazy ways of designing vehicles, cars, uh, three wheels and uh, wheels of, you know, steering wheel here and all kinds of weird stuff. It's pretty funny to watch. Uh, but that was normal because it was a new industry, so they're still trying to figure out how a car should be designed. So now, you know, we have electrics and we have SUVs and stuff, but generally speaking, automobiles, they're all pretty similar, right? They're like 96% or 95% the same. So same thing with programming languages and frameworks. We kind of hit that plateau, like the automobile industry. Yes, there are differences between Kotlin and Java, et cetera, et cetera. But they're not nearly as great. The innovations are not nearly as great as they used to be because we hit maturity. And uh, I think the big change in the last five, 10 years really is uh, server technology and DevOps. That's pretty much it. All right, we'll talk soon.